Hello everybody, we are here at UKG 2023. I'm over at Phalanx with James. Hey, hello. hello once again. Hello, nice to see you again. Always a pleasure. Yeah. Um, so we're here at the press event. You're showing off a couple of different games. Yeah. Uh, this one is intriguing me from the moment I've seen you were doing it. Uh, so what have we got on this table? Here you have Unhappy King Charles. This is a game actually we're launching tomorrow, i.e. Friday at UKG. So it's going to be the very first launch. So it's the very first time the game's been seen anywhere in the world. This is the new edition that we're making. It originally came out in 2008. It's a two-player card-driven game on the English Civil War. It won loads of awards when it came out, um, and there's been quite a lot of demand for reprint. But what we want to do is completely change the way that it looks, fix, r change up the artwork, and also work a lot on like, the user interface. So the game itself is going to be the same, but brand new artwork, brand new way of thinking about things, learning from what's been working for us in games like Hannibal and Successors historically. Okay. Uh, so what sort of uh, control mechanics are there? Is, is it area control and then moving military uh, forces around or how, do, how does the game of Kingmaker play out? Um, so uh, in terms of activations, it works a bit like Twilight Struggle. You have a card, uh, it might be in your colour or your opponent's colour. Uh, and if it's certain cards allow you to do certain operations, for example raid, activate generals, move around, uh, other cards are just events. You can discard them to do minor kind of actions. So if you're familiar with Hannibal or something like that, or We The People, one of these card-driven games, you'll be familiar with this. One side is the Royalists, one side is the Parliamentarians. Um, what you're really trying to do is put out political control markers, which are these cubes, gain control of the um, main kind of towns and cities. Um, and you're, that's how you're going to win, by controlling the, the regions and controlling key economic areas on the board. But how you go about doing that will depend on how successful your armies and generals are. Uh, the game is like really popular, uh, it's got a cult following because of the way it um, captures how desertion kind of went and how difficult it was to actually get people to do anything in, in the 17th century. Mm -hmm. So that's what the game's all about really, managing the difficulty of that period and overcoming your opponents. So yeah, it goes from pre-order tomorrow um, and it'll be a big discount on the Phalanx website on pre-order. Okay, okay. Not the only game though. Uh, over here we have one that I've seen in a prototype form a while ago. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is Coalitions. Uh, this is a game that we launched on crowdfunding a, a, year, a few years ago, uh, and it will be coming to uh, backers in the next month or two. Uh, Coalitions is actually a series of different games. The main one is Coalitions, which captures the diploma, diplomatic area of the Napoleonic period. Uh, this is not meant to be like a really heavy game. It's a game that plays um, three to six players. You can also play it solitaire. Um, and it's really about capturing the, the diplomacy and um, uh, negotiation, deal making of the period. There is combat, uh, but a lot of it's about do you join the British coalition, do you join the French coalition, what will they give you to do that? Yeah. All trying to get a certain number of like victory points to win the game, but you'll do that through a lot of like negotiations over the period of uh, two or three hours. Yeah. And down here we have the little round rule, which I really liked because it's not turn about every turn the marker moves and every faction activates at the same time and depending on where your marker is you can do different things like so you can only move in a certain phase you can only reinforce you can only tax people and it's, but everybody's always doing something which is i think important when you have a game like this that requires a bit of back and forth that people aren't just sitting static waiting for something to happen waiting for their next turn Exactly, yeah, this is like one of the innovations we're most proud of in the game because this addresses the problem which multiplayer games tend to have, especially when you get to six and some of the um, expansions got to seven players. Okay. Everyone's doing something every turn. Uh, you're not always moving, but you're taxing, you're putting down control, you're doing different things. So there's zero, next to zero downtime. And even when you are watching someone else do something, because they're your allies, you can support them in battle. So you're always going to be engaged in fighting. Yeah, so hopefully it does capture. It's surprising how well it captures like the actual negotiations that went on the period. And the game, the base game, Coalitions, comes with seven different scenarios. So you can do Napoleon going to Egypt, or uh, the, in fact, it covers every, all of the coalitions. Yeah. Uh, and the solitaire game captures the uh, uh, a, a hypothetical invasion of Paris. But this was a kickstarted um, board game? Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So is it going to be hitting retail as well? Or? Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. So it'll be delivered to backers in the front for two and then you'll be able to get it retail. Um, coalitions, Ancien Regime, which is uh, another kind of... We've got ones that cover Seven Years' War, Thirty Years' War, mm -hmm. War of Austrian Succession, and then there's a four-player game called Real Politique, which is about uh, the wars of German unification. Oh, excellent stuff. So if people are here at UKG this weekend, where can they find you when the main event kicks off tomorrow? Stand 1424, so Hall 1424. We've got a lot of other games we're showing as well Total Domination, um, Freedom, uh, plenty of others. So there'll be a range of Huang, 
maybe a bit of Brett Wilder. So we've got a lot of games people can come and see. And Wayne, you know, you played it. I, I have played it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, there you go. If you haven't checked out the Phalanx Games range before, you definitely should. If you're at UKG, pop by their stand, see if you can blag a demo of something. Um, otherwise, keep your eye out for both Coalitions and Kingmaker coming soon. Unhappy King Charles. Unhappy King Charles. Ah, he's always unhappy. Yet, well, nothing to lose your head over. Head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're going to move on and see what else there is at the show. Till next time, bye-bye.